It is time for some figure news and updates. What is going on everybody? How is everyone doing today? Daredevil19 here and today I got some pretty good figure news for you guys. This is the last of the pictures I could find from Tamashii Nation's 2015 of like their Marvel line, Star Wars line, and Dragon Ball Z line. And right here is the SH Figure Arts Tony Stark figure and then the SH Figure Arts Iron Man Hall of Armor set and then Marks 1 through 7. I think this is how it's going to work. That Hall of Armor, all those slots where each Iron Man suit is in. I think that's going to be one separate piece that you buy, and then you're going to have to buy Marks 1 through 7 individually to complete that set right there. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to work, unless, say, you buy Mark 1, and then you just get the slot for Mark 1, and then you get a slot which each Mark that you buy, then you connect it. Maybe they're doing it like that, so I'm not 100% sure how they're going to do that. I just know if you're an Iron Man fan and you collect the SH Figure Arts line, you are definitely want to gonna want to get this set and then the tony stark figure right there let me show you guys a closer look there as you can see he doesn't have any pieces of his suit on so it looks like he's gonna have interchangeable uh arms and legs and he's got the mark uh 42 on right there because you can see on his fingers i remember the uh, pointer finger and the thumb were gold and the rest of the fingers were red but uh looks like you'll be able to interchange it from his elbows to put those uh pieces of the suit on and then interchange it I guess around his knees to put the uh, leg pieces on right there. So pretty cool that you could do that with the Tony Stark figure. It looks like they captured the likeness of Robert Downey Jr. pretty good. I can't see it that well with this picture. It's not the best picture, but it is a pretty good picture. And then you see his arc reactor on his chest right there looking pretty cool. Don't know when this is going to be, be released or the Hall of Armor or in Marks 1 through 7. Not sure of the release date of those yet. But they did have the Avengers Age of Ultron SH figure art set up, and they had Ultron right there. And this figure just looks freaking badass. I think they did a phenomenal job with this piece. Not too sure if I'm going to get it yet, because I wasn't the biggest fan of Ultron. Uh, if you're collecting the SH figure arts Avengers line, you're definitely going to want to get this for your collection, though. He is uh, releasing in May. I believe he's around 60 bucks. So uh, if you guys want to get him, he is available for pre-order. I know he sold out in a lot of places, so you're going to have to search around to uh, pre-order Ultron. Or you can just wait till he's released, because you know a bunch of stores are going to get him in stock. But uh, very cool looking figure, and then they also showed... And SH Figure Arts Age of Ultron Black Widow and Tamashii Nations really did a great job with this piece. You got her batons right there, and I really hope that she comes with a pair of pistols, because that is a must-have for any Black Widow figure. And you can see the blue lines all throughout her costume, just like in the movie, so that's cool. You got her belt right there, and if you look right on the center of it, you can see the Black Widow symbol. I think the sculpt of the hair looks good, it looks just like in the movie, but the one thing that does seem off to me about this figure is the face sculpt. Uh, it just looks horrible, that looks nothing like Scarlett Johansson, like holy crap. I'm really hoping this is just a prototype, they just wanted to throw something out there to show that they are making a Black Widow figure, but it, it just looks horrendous. It looks like a weird, creepy doll's face. It's just really off. I mean, I'm trying to look at the picture, and maybe the way the lighting is hitting the face, it's throwing it off for everybody, but I don't know, it just doesn't look right. But uh, other than that, the figure does look great, and it is really cool that Tamashii Nations is making an SH Figure Arts Black Widow for us. But uh, they also did reveal... And SH Figure Arts Age of Ultron Hawkeye, which is awesome. And I was wondering if Tamashii Nations were going to make this character for their Marvel line, which they did, so that is definitely cool. This picture is a bit blurry, so let's get a better one up there. And there we go, that's a lot better. <laughs> but the figure does look really dope. You get an arrow and a bow. I'm thinking he's going to come with two different bows, where the strings are slightly different, like this one. It's extended a little bit, like he's going to shoot an arrow, then we'll probably get another bow where the string is not extended. But uh, definitely a cool looking piece right here. 
And if you look at the face sculpt, they really did capture the likeness of Jeremy Renner very well. Because you could tell that looks like the actor in this picture right here. Even though it's covered a little bit by his hand and his uh, arrow right there. But uh, definitely cool that they did reveal Black Widow and Hawkeye. So that is definitely a thumbs up. But uh, that's it for their Avengers line. Let's move on to the Star Wars figures. Alright, so if you're a fan of army building, then this image is going to look awesome to you. As you can see, the SH Figure Arts clone troopers on the left and the SH Figure Arts droids. I forgot exactly what they're called. I'm pretty sure they're just called droids. But that is just a very dope setup right there. You see all their blasts going back and forth. So if you're a big army builder with figures, this is definitely something you're going to want to do because that does look very very cool just wanted to show that and then here's a uh, few of the first order troopers right here you get the storm trooper on the left i forgot what the one in the back and the one on the right are called but uh, i'm thinking actually about getting two of these to uh pose behind my captain phasma figure they do look awesome tomash nations really make some incredible pieces the one in the middle on the top looks pretty awesome there's a couple of the First Order Troopers, and then here is Young Skywalker. The SH Figure Arts New Hope, Luke Skywalker, and they did a great job with this piece. And the face sculpt looks a lot better, because the one that we got on the uh, Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker, the basic, regular-looking face sculpt, that one looked too much like Tobey Maguire. This one looks more like Mark Hamill, so they... Did make imp improvements on that, so they did a good job with that. Just the sculpt all throughout the figure really looks amazing. You got his lightsaber there with his belt with the pouch on it and a couple other things. So uh, they really did a great job with this piece. I cannot wait to own it in my collection. And then here's that same picture I did show you guys in my last figure news video of uh, the five characters and the three re reveals, Chewbacca, Han Solo, and Luke Skywalker. And better look and a closer look at uh, Luke right here and I really love that accessory with the lightsaber and the blast the, that little droid uh, shooting at Luke Skywalker and that impact just on the lightsaber just looks so damn cool Tomashi Nations just seriously makes incredible pieces and just the detail on the helmet right there just look phenomenal like jeez they really know how to make figures, and I'm telling you, this has got to be the best time to be an action figure collector, because we are getting such awesome figures. I cannot wait to get this Luke, the Han Solo, C-3PO, especially R2-D2, and Chewbacca as well. Cannot wait to get everything. But uh, let's go to the last Star Wars figure, which I'm most excited for. Who is? Hell yeah, a Mace Windu. How awesome is this? We are finally getting a figure of Mace Windu. And it's going to be an SH Figuarts. So th this is just awesome. Very excited about this. This was actually a Star Wars character that was in my top five for uh, Tamashii Nations to make into a figure. So very, very happy about this. We got his purple lightsaber. Uh, the sculpt looks awesome. I, the likeness of Samuel L. Jackson definitely is there. I'll show you a closer look. As you can see, it does look like Samuel L. Jackson to me. But uh, very, very cool that we are getting this. Very excited about it. So great news for SH Figure Arts Star Wars collectors. We are getting a bunch of great figures. Anyway, let me show you guys a few more Dragon Ball Z pictures and wrap this video up. And just wanted to show you some better pictures of their Dragon Ball line. And here's a bunch of characters from Dragon Ball Super. We have the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta on the left, or Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, which is going to be released in April, so cannot wait for that. And then all the way on the right, we have the Goku, which I did do a review of. You can check it out on my channel. But he should be released any week, along with Golden Frieza, so be on the lookout for that. And then on the top left, we have Whis. Happy that they are making that character in SH Figure Arts. And then next to him is Beerus. I 
cannot wait for that as well. Then next to him we have his brother Champa, which looks pretty cool. Then next to him is Vados or Vados, however you pronounce your name. That is Whis's twin sister. So very cool that we're getting Dragon Ball Super SH figure arts figures. And then right here we have the Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku. It should be released any day or week this month. So be on the lookout for my review of that figure. I am extremely hyped to get that Goku. That piece just looks incredible. And then next to him we have the Saiyan Armor Trunks. Hoping that's going to get released early in 2016. Because that's the figure I'm most excited for out of all their Dragon Ball SH figure arts. Uh, reveals that they showed at uh, Tamashii Nations 2015. Just amazing pieces that they have been making lately. They're just going all out with their Dragon Ball Z figures. But anyway guys, that is my video. Just want to show you one thing. Which is this, the new DC Collectibles DC Icons line. I finally got the Green Arrow figure in, so I will have my review up tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. But anyway, guys, that is my figure news and updates video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, and favorite the video too. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, then I guess you're not a Marvel, Star Wars, or Dragon Ball Z fan. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Later.